Welcome to the first episode of a 23 part series collection, 23 Michael Jordan videos in 23 days. We're starting this on December 1st and we are continuing it all through December. Today we are looking at NBA legends sharing the craziest Michael Jordan torture stories. These stories involve a little bit of trash talk, golf, and Michael Jordan intensity where he just went out to kill his opponents. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the other 23 Michael Jordan videos coming to you every day in December. So sit back, relax, and get ready for this video. I don't want to keep you waiting, but I'd really appreciate if you guys could help me out by hitting that like button. This series has taken a lot of work and that would really mean a lot to me. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the new MJ videos coming to you in December. And all the footage that was used in this video is on the screen right now and linked in the description box down below. And welcome to NBA legends sharing the funniest, craziest Michael Jordan torture stories. I'm going to give you one story to kind yes, of tell please. you what, what happened in the playoffs with Michael Jordan. Hey, you spent a lot of nights, you and Michael, in close quarters, and he's we a did. good talker. I mean, we did. What, so, what, so what would you hear from Michael? And here's <laughs> Michael and Smith. Yes. What's this all about? Well, Michael just... Steve Smith trying to put his hand back and feel where Michael Jordan is, and Michael Jordan said, I'm right here, and so he tickled him to let him know I'm right here, right behind. He decided to play 36 holes of golf the same day that we had a game. They were up 2-0. It's the first game here at the arena. 13 years, the NBA champion has had a winning road record. This season, the Bulls are the best road record in basketball with 31 victories away from home. He goes scoreless in the first quarter. Glenn Rice and Steve Smith at the time gave him a little look. Oh my God. Let me tell you. <laughs> like he hadn't scored a point. He had played 36 holes of golf. He's taken, he's he's not taking us serious. We're up 15. You cannot hear anything in the gym. It was so loud. To the lane, out to Cycli, back to Smith, shoots the post up, good, and a foul! And these guys just gave him a little look, and that woke up the beast. He started counting backwards. You know, he said something like 38, and I didn't get it, Reggie, you know what I mean? And he mm -hmm. started saying 36. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. So he going backwards, and now if he get to zero, he got 56 points the next three quarters, and <laughs> wow. they beat us by 15 or 20 or whatever it is. Y'all started getting going, man, and it's like you feel it go right through you. Yes. Jordan drives again. Oh, my God, Jordan! Yep, Jay pushes it up himself. Crosses over, down the lane. Hang, scores! Well, young fella, I'm only going to hit a jump. I'm not going to dunk on you. Michael. He smiled at Glenn Rice and told him, "This gonna take you to school." We knew it was gonna win. It's just a matter of how we win. So we kind of toured with him. Sees the double team coming and just goes for the hoop. We were more talkative, more playful, more entertaining with them than any other team that we faced. But when it came down to where we had to put these guys away and move on. You know, we did it. Edwards. Drives it against Jordan. Michael knocks it away and gets it right back. He's got Livingston in his right, Horace Grant in his left. Goes inside. Oh, oh, classic Jordan! Classic Michael Jordan time! The Chicago Bulls have defeated the Miami Heat in three straight games. But it was me and Michael had <laughs> a lot of talks. So, it was fun. We've had a lot of competitive battles. It was almost like you're playing against a guy, but we all know that can't happen. <laughs> Wow, that is yeah. that is incredible. That is just typical, typical Michael Jordan. And the reason why I, I, I really truly believe that Michael Jordan is the best player to ever play the game of basketball, <clears throat> and the reason why I say that is because you'll never find a competitor who is as fierce on both ends of the floor like a Michael Jordan. What's the best performance you ever witnessed? The best performance I ever witnessed and was part of was against Michael Jordan. You know, I know that story came out. It's a true story. You know, I was fortunate enough, and I think I have heard you're going to tell a story about uh, Jordan against the Atlanta Hawks. I will never forget this. I never had a player to do this. And I never had a player to do this before. I think I had 57 in Atlanta. In early December, Hawk fans witnessed a classic duel between two gunslingers as Dominique and Michael Jordan looked to shoot him up. 
there's no other uh, like Dominique and there's no other like Michael Jordan. Uh, I wish I could have been in a crowd today and just sat there and watched those two go at it. I mean, it was phenomenal. I know he's going to be there, and if you give him any light, he's going to create something. I think we watch each other because he did some things tonight. I said, holy, I mean, jeez. Bounce pass to Wilkins to the hoop, dunks it. Michael Jordan takes it coast to coast. Wilkins, low right, turnaround jumper, good. Wilkins in the lane, scoops the shot up, around and in. Feeds it to Jordan, baseline left, Michael on the drive, jammed it with a right hand. Break away to Dominique Wilkins, showtime in Atlanta. Lane right side, hooks it left for Jordan. Michael in deep, scoop shot around and in. Wilkins against Banks. Dominique double fake, pumps the shot up, banked it in. Jordan baseline right, comes up shooting and hitting. Wilkins the jam. Here's Jordan on the drive of the lane, running, hook is in. Jump pass to Wilkins, left in the lane. He steps in, scoops it up and in and draws the foul. One bounce dribble now to Jordan. Michael in from the left side, jammed it right over Rollins. Tries to save, but two Dominique Wilkins. The hands of Wilkins, Michael Jordan around, everybody a re Wilkins, he's got a breakaway. Wow. 57. Dominique was 19 out of 28 from the field tonight. He ties his career high. 98 points by two players in this building today. Standing O, Dominique Wilkins is really pumped up. I think I had 57 in Atlanta. I think we held him, not to his career low, but he had a pretty tough night against us. We go back to Chicago weeks later. So I remember going, us going to Chicago. Now we're in suit and tie. We're sitting in the locker room. We just walked in the locker room. And the, the true story is he did uh, walk in our locker room. And he actually did walk in our locker room. And I remember Michael Jordan walks in our locker room before the game. We in suit and tie, haven't gotten dressed yet. He walks in our locker room. And I'm like, what the hell is he doing, <laughs> you know? Now remember, Michael Jordan walks into our locker room suit and tie to let us know that he was looking forward to playing us in. I'm like, what the hell is he doing in our locker room? Is he coming to, you know, to the training room? Well, what's going on? So I'm thinking maybe going to the training room or something. So he walks by me. He walks by Kevin. We get to Randy with me. He just walked in and said, hey, guys, I want you all to know. Good luck. And he slapped someone behind. And he said, he said, lace him up. It's going to be a long night. Uh, I mean, that, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen him do, so. Lace him up, it's gonna be a long night. He turned and walked out, <laughs> and I'm in shock. I'm like, did he just... Did he just come in our locker room? <laughs> it was a message. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, I was shocked. And I didn't know what to say. I said, well, you tell that so-and-so, Scotty Pippen, I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> you know? I didn't know what to say. He had 60. <laughs> Right wing to Jordan, down the lane for the dunk. Michael shoots it up left of the circle, yes sir. Jordan wide right against Whitman, 10 to shoot. Michael Jordan's long outside shot, yes sir. Michael shoots out of the corner, yep. Michael Jordan guarded by Whitman, baseline left, shoots under pressure, six out of seven. Michael Jordan against McGee, right of the lane, leans in, pumps the shot, no, tips it in. Four on the clock, Jordan fakes on Whitman, pumps the jumper, go. Michael Jordan in the lane, clean away jumper, rimming, good. Jordan double team, dribbles out of it in the lane, eight footer, yeah. Michael Jordan brings it up against Randy Whitman. Jordan on the drive, in the lane, shoots under pressure, good, and a foul. Feeds it left to Jordan, left corner shot, Michael. Yep. There it is. Left corner, Jordan. Michael steps in and fires, good left baseline. 21 in a row. Michael fakes, shoots it up baseline right, yes sir. 40. He's got Sellers to Jordan, right of the lane, eight footer, good. 42 for Michael Jordan. Head to Jordan. Michael Jordan to the hoop, dumps it. 49 for Jordan. Michael on the drive, inside, scoops it in. 50. There's 50. Michael gets double team, pumps the jumper up. Good. Oh, he was tied. 52. He had 60 that night. He had 60 points that night. And, and, but, you know, even though he had 60, it's the way he had it. You know, it was electric, man. I mean, it was it was incredible to witness. We ended up winning the game, but the, the scoring performance he put on that night was incredible. Mike was pretty economical. Like it, he 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 made the most of his possessions and his shots. It, he was so efficient, as well as being an assassin, a killer out there on the floor, and he wanted to 
basically take your heart with every possession. His attitude, his mentality, um, he, was a, he was a killer. You know, he wanted to take your heart out. John was a savage. Oh my he was. God. He, he was. He was the natural savage of, of anybody, guys, anybody that I've ever faced. Like he, you had to bring it. Uh, you knew going into the game what you were facing. That's who he was. I mean, he wasn't a guy without that make friends. I, my greatest battles that I've had was against Michael. He was he was tough. He was a mess. He was he was vicious. Uh, he was mean. He was tough. He was physical. Throughout our career, through our whole career, we were the only two as foes to average over 30 against one another for a career. I mean, that's how competitive it was. I got a good story. I don't know if I should tell on the radio, but screw ah, it. No I'll one tell listens it. to our I'll show, JR. It. Yeah, right. Um, uh, back in back in the nineties, when the when the Bulls were on fire, um, this was ninety two, ninety three, maybe ninety. Yeah, I get a call from Michael. Meet, meet me at Sunset Ridge early. We're gonna go play play eighteen holes. I, we didn't have a game. We had actually had a day off. Like end of the season for us, end of the season for them. So I meet him at Sunset Ridge. We Whoa. played around, beat him for a couple thousand, and I'm getting ready to leave. Now Bulls are playing that night. They play <laughs> Cleveland that night. I played in Cleveland for the Cavs for a few years and started about 20 straight games because Craig Elo was injured. So I'm, I'm thinking he's leaving. It's 10 o'clock. He's like, no, let's go play again. So he goes and we, we fill up a bag full of ice and Coors Light and we walk again. <laughs> we, we roll around another 18 and I take him for another couple. And, couple. Uh, yeah. And, and now we've been drinking all afternoon. Now he's getting going from Sunset Ridge to to the stadium to play a game. And most nights it was all right. I could find somebody I could guard, but here we play the Bulls and most nights. I got Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, mess, I'm like messing around. I'm like, I'm gonna call my bookie and I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, all the money you, that you just lost to me, I'm putting on Cleveland tonight. <laughs> he goes, I'll tell you what, he goes, he goes, you, I'll, I'll bet you that we win by 20 points and I have more than 40. I'm like, done. So I, we start out the game I get the first shot of the game, first possession. He closes out on me. I knock down a jumper. I'm feeling pretty good. The next couple minutes, he, he's just kind of dumping the ball inside. We've played five minutes. He hasn't scored, and I'm kind of feeling pretty good about myself. And finally, I realized, well, he hasn't even shot yet. So he was just trying to get everybody else involved. Long story short. Son of a gun goes out, scores. 44 points. He's now had games of 40, 51, 25, 50, and 44 points in his last five games. And the Cleveland Cavaliers, once again, make note of this. And I finished with two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see if they'll start to double him as he starts to back Kerr down in low. Yeah, but if I'm Kerr, Jordan on the turnaround of her price on the quarter. Jordan. Intercept. The lead for Jordan. Michael on the spin. Jordan against Battle. Where did he go? Where did he yes. go? Jordan. What a finish. Differential shot clock to game. Jordan from deep. Jordan posting up over Battle. Yeah. Michael. Yes. Listen to Joe Tate. Jordan. Oh, yeah. Where did he go? They win by 26 or something uh -huh. after 18 holes of golf. <laughs> And 36 holes of golf. 30, uh, 36 and holes of golf and, and having like maybe 10 Bud Lights. Stop. Ah. The man, the man, Michael Jordan to me is probably the best athlete that I've ever seen, that I've ever been around. Oh, don't Jordan miss this, Michael. Of the field. Don't miss it. It was like, <laughs> bam, all of a sudden he just, it was like he decided I'm going to, I'm going to start scoring now and I'm going to guard the guy and there was nothing I could do. The shooting this quarter. Put another one up there. Jordan. Jordan on the drive with a finger roll on the scoop. Michael. It's almost getting too easy. He has 44 now. Amazing, right? That is an amazing story. After the first half, I'm like, I just, I didn't even, I, my money was gone. It was just gone. <laughs> <laughs> Done. So much for 36 holes of hard grinding. <laughs> And I hope you guys enjoyed these stories. There are 23 more videos coming to you in December. So if you're excited for that, please help me out by hitting that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And here are two new videos that I think you may also enjoy MJ related. I will catch you guys in the next one. Hope you have a great day. Peace.